Highland Park. Welcome to Detroit yeah, Sports Jersey up. with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. FM 88.1 WHPR Power Talk Live yeah, Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. And you are Halloween. Detroit Sports Jersey. That's right. Bad boys, bad boys. That's a Sue. <laughs> Sue theme song right there. What you gonna do when they come for that hundred thou? <laughs> Got the free agent sitting up here. What's up, Detroit? DC in the house. What up? All right, thanks for joining us. The 15th of September 2013. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about Sue, Ryan, Mr. Johnny Football. Oh yeah, Johnny Football. The fight that lasted to four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That, was a that fight That's was fixed. Ridiculous. That fight was fixed from the start. The fight was went so long I saw the news man out there delivering paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back after a word from our sponsor and uh we'll jump off into like I said, Sue, NFL, make our pick, see what we did last week. And like I said, the Mayweather fight last night. There's nobody else left out there. Seventy-five dollars for that sh fight. I feel I got robbed. <laughs> I got robbed. robbed. It wasn't worth the pain. I think Count Carl uh -oh. Cass came in with the ski mask. <laughs> ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back. All the talk in universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worried about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285. 5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800 285 5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Do you or someone you know suffer from addiction, trauma, emotional challenges, or physical illnesses? People Helping People, PHP.org. They offer support groups, creative groups, and social groups by phone for adults or teenagers. It's completely safe, confidential, and non-judgmental phone support that are run by people who have been where you are today. People Helping People, PHP.org, 516-647-7906. Get the help you need today. And, yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Telex Free. There is an easy way to make money by posting ads on the internet. Ads are provided that need to be copied and pasted on a provided website. There's no recruiting or sales requ required. Earn on your investment. For more info, 973-204-9981 and the video on YouTube. That number again is 973-204-9981. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by GKWebDesigns.com. GK Web Designs is dedicated to creating and designing affordable websites for small businesses. For more info, GKWebDesigns.com or 623-341-3157. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Ali, the Alternative Health Practitioner. Did you know that autoimmune disease is reversible? If you have diabetes, cancer, heart disease, or are taking dialysis treatments, then for more information, Ali, the Alternative Health Practitioner at 818-660-3627. This is a free consultation. Alternative medicine can restore health. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by SkullShaver.com, electric shavers for men and women. 
Skull Shaver is a five rotary shaver that contours to the scalp and face while reaching hard to reach areas. There is a dry shaver. This is a dry shaver that requires no lather. Skull Shaver's patented design allows you to feel your scalp as you shave. Ladies shavers are now also available for pre-order. Their slogan is feel as you shave. For more info, skullshaver.com or amazon.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 88.1, whpr.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, the free agent and DC. All right, thank you very, very much. Welcome back to the show, Detroit Sports Jersey. All right, um, DC, free agent, Sue. Don't he the man. Up. He the man. That was a that was a dumb hit. That was a dumb hit. It don't matter. What do you mean it don't matter? It cost my man millions. You, dog, you got to respect you know, people's career, thousand. man. You he, can't be he, trying to he, end people's career. He's not going to win it. No. You can't be trying to end people's careers, man. I don't think he was trying to end this career. Yes, he was. Right. When you hit somebody that knee below the knee, he watched my man turn and then hit him in the end zone. My man was in the end zone. What is he? He cost him a touchdown. I mean, he, he cost him a touchdown. 100,000. It, it was a stupid play. He, didn't, he shouldn't have did that. Come on, don't defend that, man, for hey, real. But it's Sue, man. What's your point? You this know? is what we deal with in Detroit when we got Sue. Let me tell you what Sue he, has done. He got to clean it up. But for now, Sue, he the man. So when will he clean it up is my question. He got he to gotta, he gotta do Listen something. Listen to his fines here. Listen to his That's next a game. rookie. He was fined twice. Seventy-five hundred uh, and fifteen thousand for Jake Cutler and Delong. I mean, what's my man's name? Jake. No, Jake Delong. Yeah, Delong. Yeah. I don't think he should have got fined on that. I remember that hit. <laughs> that wasn't a bit abusive hit. Now the Jake Cutler one. Yeah, I, I'd have. I'd have then he got. Um, so, I mean, fine. Uh, Detroit Sports Jersey. Name it. Where you calling from? We'll get back to this. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you call it from. This is the one and only Guru. Oh, from you again? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Guru? What can we do for you? Yeah, man, uh, the fight last night, I was in, unable to witness it, but I got some uh, reports about it. Um, pound for pound, he is the best boxer out there. and uh, He's fighting it, nobodies. It was fixed. Uh, it was fixed. It, it's not his fault. Ain't nobody out there. But no, but, but you can't call him the best pound for pound yeah, fighter. If when there's nobody, nobody out there, the when he he's beat up local he people the at the YMCA, he's not the best pound. Oh, 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 hold on, slow your roll. Uh, right now, today, pound for pound, he is the best fighter out there. Cause no, there's no, nobody out there. No, he's not. There's nobody out there. No, he's not. If I'm the only person out there, of course I'm the best. Hold on, hold on, if there's hold on. nobody else out there. Who, who the best in DC? <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't Floyd. Who okay, I'll okay, uh, okay, tell you what. Let me ask you this, Guru. Yeah. Let me tell you this, right? I'm going to tell you why he's the only one out there. The fight cost $75 last night, right? And you paid that? No, no, no. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> who exactly? But who else out there can draw a seventy-five dollar pay-per-view fight? Nobody. Right, Nobody. Right. Yeah, but you you missing the point? What we're saying? Don't, don't don't forget about his opponent, G. Uh, I can't when they bombs. Yeah, but is that his fault? My man, how about my man? No, it's not his fault. He's going there telling yeah, his mom. business, but I I'll can't call him the like, best and the I'll greatest. Is no he problem. the greatest in history? Is that what you're telling me? No, I didn't say nothing about history. I said today. <laughs> Current. <laughs> you, you tripping, man. You're going to tell me Ali back in his day wasn't the greatest of all time. Yeah, he's the yeah. greatest, yes. Yeah. And I'll tell you something else. Like I was trying to tell the free agent last night. If you take the... Uh, opponents back in the day, Sugar Ray, Marvin Hagler, them had G Money, Tommy Hearns, Boy, and you Boy compare them last. to the component. I mean, opponents that uh, Mayweather got today, G Money. There's no competition. No, there's no comparison. Right, I agree. On, I agree with what you saying, but still, but forget all that. Right now, today, with all the bums out there, he is the pound for pound best. Simple as that. You're proving my point. But I'm not putting him on those pedestal, though. I'm, I, I like Mayweather. Don't get me wrong. We ain't talking about history. We're talking about right now. Right now, he is the hero, G. I'm sorry. Yeah, because there's nobody out there. Okay, that is. You tell me it's his fault because there ain't nobody out there. 
No, I'm not. He handling his business. I think it was a fixed fight. It was a fixed fight. It was. Because how how is it? Cano came in and he first he started out at 178. Then Floyd made him drop down to 150. I don't, you made me drop 20 pounds. Every time I hit you, I'm not, there's no power in that. That's why Alvarez didn't knock him out. Right, you know what? And they talked about that too. The the the, the, the fight doctor said before. Yeah. He talking about how he, he's going to be really really dehydrated, losing all that weight. And then they said um, he ate a candy bar the, <laughs> the day before the fight. And Bob, what are you laughing? A candy but, bar. Um, a candy bar for a boxer does just the opposite. You know the sugar you're looking for the energy. Yeah. It, it, it breaks down the protein in the body. Where well, candy bar does just the opposite. It zaps your energy for a boxer. It don't get a candy bar does not give you energy. So you said he ate the candy yeah. bar to fix the fight? Right. No, 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 no. He ate a Snickers to fix the fight? No, 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 no. Yeah. no, no. One Snickers, one Snickers, that fight. Yeah. Intelligent stuff to do. Uh, the, the dude was saying that a lot of trainers don't know. These New Day's trainers, they ain't like the old days. The old days trainer was up on every little piece and everything you did. These guys ain't into detail. You know what I got out of that fight last night? My man is at the end of his career. It's winding down. The window is getting smaller. I told you that a, a year ago. No, once you I mean, Alvarez, he wasn't was, no bum. He was a good fighter. At, at 32, good fighter. as a prize fighter, you on your way down, and he's 36. It's just a matter of time. And it ain't the opponent. It's just a matter of time before Mother Nature just catch up with him. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because he's 36 now, G. I mean, any his next fight could be his last because he's 36 years old. And he ain't going to fight no more this year. Right? He's going to fight next year. He'll be 37. Now, he's going to pick another bum to fight. <laughs> yeah, but not this year. I think that he said he's going to fight two more fights next year. Yeah. Well, hell, he ain't got time to get ready for another fight this year. Hell, it's <laughs> September. Right, right. That's my point. So, you know, his next fight, he'll be 37 years old. It's, just, it's a matter of time. And he's fighting guys at 21, 22, 23. Even if you're a bum, when you're fighting a guy that's 30, going close to 40 in boxing, I mean, his skills are so diminished now. I want to bet you 15 years ago, you would take that same opponent, and he wouldn't have last five rounds with uh, Mayweather. Hey, let me, I got a, let's get off of bottle. I got a couple of questions for you, uh, Guru. Oh, let me give a shout out to Cass City High School. Man, you never throw no shout out to them. They are the two term reigning D. They reign in And they take the nigga beat Southfield the first game. Show my boys some love, baby. All right, shout out to Cass. Can we go back to the pros? You act like you mad. They gonna win again? Oh uh, yes, three P, baby. <laughs> Who did, who'd you say they beat last week? No, that was the first game of the season. They beat Southfield, which is ranked about number four or five in the uh, state. No, oh, okay then. Well, okay, I'm gonna give show some love to Cass. Right. We, need, we need to get some hype, G. I want them to get some ranking on the national scale, G. Go three years in a row winning your state titles, G. Yeah, you know you gotta show me some love nationwide, G. Yeah, I was checking out the rankings in the USA today. They not in the top twenty five, but they're in the honorable mentions. No, honorable yeah, mentions. Yeah. We got the best quarterback in the country, right? Here in Detroit. <coughs> okay, okay. Give me some, show me some love. Okay, show some oh, love. Got the best, the best quarterback in Detroit. Hey, so hey, so hey, I gotta go see him. So that's what you see. My man's. You gotta go see him. My man is a beast. Go. You, you gotta go see him. You gotta go see him. My man is a beast. By, by how, uh, oh, I know the free agent is a Michigan fan. But I hate to tell you this, they was a 38-point favorite. They bummed. I watched they that whole they game. They should have lost that game. And, and I'm a Michigan fan. Out. They should have lost. Check this out, too. One thing I want to say. Back in uh, uh, March of this year, when Michigan made the Final Four, uh, they on um, 97.1, they was talking, and they were saying that uh, they were taking a fan vote. What, what is more important, going to the Final Four or getting that five-star running back recruit they got? And the Michigan fans overwhelmingly took the five-star running back. Now, we fast forward six months later in this football season. You know that five-star running back that they like? He don't even play. <laughs> so why did they put all their hopes in this guy? You know, that he ain't even playing. <coughs> I'm confused. Here. Hey, man, I'm telling you right now, I watched that game last night. And really, I see why the Big Ten don't get no respect. 
for the simple fact, like, was this game two of the season for everybody yeah. this week? Yeah. Game three. Game three. Uh, no, okay. Game three. Okay, well, dig this, though. Alabama and them come out the gate playing the big boys right off the top, G-Money. They set the standard high. They're not sitting up here padding their record playing Central Michigan, Akron, Youngstown, yeah. You know, he struck. He struck exactly, exactly. And they got the win though. That's all. Yeah, that. we, ugly yeah, win. It's an ugly, ugly win. They should have. Uh, Michigan should have lost yesterday. Hey, Guru, and this is the same guy that sat next to me. Only a question for the for the free agent. The way they played against Akron, what do you think later in the year when they play Ohio State was going? Oh, they about to. Oh, they about to lose. Hey, if they well, play like they, they played against Akron, they gonna lose. We gonna see. We gonna, we hey, gonna Guru, see. let me get your play opinion play. on a couple of things before we you know, get up out of here. That's down We we got our struggling game out the way. This is what we needed. It they was a they test. bombs. It was a test. They bombs. It was a test. Uh, uh, Thank you. I heard the toilet flush three <laughs> times since you've been on the air. You give me uh, <laughs> you fix oh, it. <laughs> oh, you the plumber today? <laughs> Guru, a couple of things, for real. For a couple, couple of time, I'll do anything, G-Money. Okay, a couple of things right off the bat. The fine with Sue. Give me your opinion and thoughts on that. Oh, I'm glad you said that, G, because I meant, um, uh, this again, uh, you know, I, I don't know why I listen to 97.1, because the, the Detroit fans are some of the more illiterate fans. Thank fans you. That, I, if you if you was in front of me right now, I'd shake your hand and grab your ass. Yes, I would. <laughs> uh, 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 97.1 the other day, the fans was calling in defending Sue. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, really? You defend that man? That was a uh, Ill- why? Why would you? Even I mean, make that the, he hit? shouldn't have got he, yeah, the hip. He shouldn't have did. But come on, a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. You almost ended my man' career, though. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 let me say this. Let me say this real quick. If that was any other player, you would not have even heard about this player. Would have been just a flag and nothing. But since his reputation is so horrible, anything he do get blown out of proportion, and he need to realize this. Stop doing boneheaded play, and this is the same guy that gave a speech before the game about not doing nothing stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and check it out, you being the the the, the 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 premier defensive player on the team, why would you be on the pursuit of an interception? Your man is about twenty yards away from scoring. The guy you blocked is about fifteen yards away from the guy, so it was totally impossible for this man to catch your guy. <laughs> And, and he was offensive lineman. It was totally lineman. what? And he was <laughs> offensive <laughs> lineman. Let me finish. Let me finish. What is my hundred million dollar lineman doing chasing down the play? That's <laughs> meaningless. I don't need him to get hurt running down the interception. That he has no chance to help out. The guy he hit had no chance of making a tackle. I don't need you even taking them kind of risk to get injured. Let's know him getting a penalty. It just he's just stupid. He setting himself up for later on the year when he gets something when they need him in the game. He's gonna end up getting suspended. Any minor thing he do now, he's gonna get suspended. Exactly. Exactly. He's gonna hurt the team in the long run. And another thing I heard is, uh, I heard one of the NFL commentators said that that Schwartz mentality is, uh, Detroit wants to play on defense to the echo of the whistle. Now I'm 60, well 58 years old, pertinent near 60. I've never heard that term in my life play to the echo of the whistle. And what that means is, when the referee blows the whistle, you still finish the play until the echo is gone out the air. And when you play on that borderline, a lot of bad things happen. I don't understand the lines at all with that mentality. Yeah, that that is kind of stupid right there, for real. Like you, know, you said, I, now I, you're on the borderline of getting, the echo, getting a costly penalty. Hey, check this out. Now, I took the lines on my card today. I want y'all to know this. Oh, now, they oh. bet Dog, they about to get smoked today. They oh. bet not. They better beat Arizona at least by three. If they play like they played last week, they should beat Arizona. Hey, uh, free agent, I'm going to let you go. Let me throw a little. Guru. Guru. Yeah. Uh, let me throw a little NBA news. Just something a little quick I want to get your opinion on. You know, the early uh, 2014 Hall of Fame list came out, right? Mm-hmm. Chris Webber on that Hall of Famer or not? I say no. Mm. <laughs> what, 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 what you got to think about? <laughs> well, well, okay. Your, your former boss is in there. And I think Chris Webber numbers is better than your former boss. But listen so, here, though. Listen here. I don't think they being deserved to be in the uh, 
Hall of Fame. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got something against David? I said your former boss. I didn't say which one. You didn't have hundreds of bosses. Why did you choose him? <laughs> I mean, well, what other uh, athletes have, have I worked for? <laughs> I mean, you want me to bring up Lord Thomas? You, Isaiah, brother? You want me to actually count him when he had me standing in water and electricity telling me that's normal? <laughs> is, that, is that the guy you want me to throw on? <laughs> well, you know, we had the coach, Lloyd. We had the coach, too, man. You remember the coach? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, um, Earl Lord. I'm not. What's yeah, his name? Yeah, Earl Lord. Yeah, Earl yeah, Lord, the first black yeah. African American yeah, basketball yeah, player. Yeah, Worked with him. Yeah. yeah, he was your boss. Yeah, Earl was right. From no, the he didn't have nothing but a desk with a newspaper <laughs> scroll across it. What? He, he didn't even have no phone on the desk. <laughs> See, Dave was just looking out for his boy. That was funny. <laughs> he didn't have no pictures on the wall, just a desk <laughs> and a chair and paper just. Laid out on the table. <laughs> so what do you do, my man? What? <laughs> oh, let me say one more thing, man, because um, let me tell you a little quick story real quick. Uh, these two guys was at the job, right? They talking, you know, kicking and Willie Bobo's about sports. So uh, it was an older guy, about 60 years old, and a young guy, about 21. So they get to talking about sports. So the young guy, you know, got upset because the older guy was, you know, getting all the facts and figures in on him. So he challenged the older guy, which is just, mind you, got off a 12-hour grueling shift in the factory. And they went out there for a foot race of 40 yards. Who do you think won the foot race, the 21-year-old or the 60-year-old? Okay, look, listen here, Guru. We don't want to hear about your personal <laughs> you know, feats. No, you out here beating up on little kids, racing 12-year-olds. <laughs> we don't... <laughs> we don't... <laughs> I'm assuming the story's about you. <laughs> I'm assuming you pulled up your track trophies, your Heisman's, your awards, you took him to the computer and sat him down. Oh, yeah, I sure did, dude, but he didn't play. <laughs> I took him outside to the parking lot at 60 years old and whipped him uh, twice, man. It was just unbelievable. Uh, and now I'm the hero of the job, G. Uh, Next time, get a video of that sitting in. I want to see this. You video and everything else. <laughs> All right, man, we about to take a break here. You YouTube it, right? Yeah, put on YouTube. All right, Guru, we appreciate you calling in. Hey, man, tell my fans, man, I'm trying to make it back, man. Okay. Well, you still got fans right? left? <laughs> fans, he's trying to make it back. Hey, Kayla, I'm in this, this building I'm at is called the Carter, man. It's, it's like New Jack City, man. We can't leave the Carter, G. <laughs> okay, Nino Brown. We're about to let you go. <laughs> we'll all let you later, uh, Guru. All right, later. All right, let's take a commercial break here. We come back. We'll finish talking about the NFL, give up picks for this week, and um, how we did last week. Last week. But how did you do? I'll tell you when we come back from paying these bills, we'll be right back after a commercial break. With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worried about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. But the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Do you or someone you know suffer from addiction, trauma, emotional challenges, or physical illnesses? People Helping People, PHP.org. They offer support groups, creative groups, and social groups by phone for adults or teenagers. You it's call this for safe, confidential, sport, and um, non-judgmental phone support <laughs> that are run by people who have been where you are today. People Helping People, PHP.org, 516-647-7906. Get the help you need today. But I'm at first place. I got my Yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Telex Free. There is an easy way to make money by posting ads on the internet. Ads are provided that need to be copied and pasted on a provided website. There's no recruiting or sales required. 
Earn on your investment. For more info, 973-204-9981 and the video on YouTube. That number again is 973-204-9981. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by GKWebDesigns.com. GK Web Designs is dedicated to creating and designing affordable websites for small businesses. For more info, gkwebdesigns.com or 623-341-3157. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Ali, the alternative health practitioner. <coughs> Did you know that autoimmune disease is reversible? If you have diabetes, cancer, heart disease, or are taking dialysis treatments, then for more information, Ali, the alternative health practitioner, at 818-660-3627. This is a free consultation. Alternative medicine can restore health. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by SkullShaver.com, electric shavers for men and women. Skull Shaver is a five rotary shaver that contours to the scalp and face while reaching hard to reach areas. This is a dry shaver that requires no lather. Skull Shaver's patented design allows you to feel your scalp as you shave. Ladies shavers are now also available for pre-order. Their slogan is, feel as you shave. For more information, skullshaver.com or amazon.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio, live call in number 313-868-3688, live streaming at FM 88.1, whpr.com, straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, the free agent and DC. All right, thank you. Welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. We upload it at DetroitSportsJersey.com if you missed the show. D.C. free agent? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. What's happening? All right, we're going to talk about our picks last week, how we did. Then we're going to jump into the picks this week. Okay, free agent, you over there smiling no, and glowing. I don't even smile. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. Okay, you, you ten and six. Yeah. You did good, okay. We, we holding it down right now. It's okay. D.C. and myself, we are eight and eight. I'm in the playoffs. So, you know, 500 so far. Yeah, I'm in the playoffs. 15 more weeks. I mean, some of them games, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you Detroit. Know, you know. Or Detroit. We got to. Um, so how they got that win for me, right? Y'all won, you know. Y'all did y'all thing against Minnesota. I can't I think, believe you picked Jacksonville last week. I wonder who you picking crazy. Well, see, you know what I thought they would do right? I thought they oh, would put some Denard in. <laughs> Cause they don't like that quarterback they got now. They don't like him. <laughs> so I thought maybe they put the offensive weapon in as they got him labeled on the okay. team. Okay. You know to do something. Anything. Huh? And they lost yes, last week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They lost just like your boys. I mean, you know, that's all right. Check this which, out. Which you know your team is. Uh, we ain't gonna talk about your. You got line, Detroit. You got Detroit. They play Minnesota. And, uh, you got Detroit playing in. Uh, Arizona. Arizona. They ain't won that since 93. <coughs> next okay. week, next week, they go, uh, we about to change Washington that never won there. We're going to change that next week. So that's, never, that's, that's one and two, right? <clears throat> one and two. See, this, I told, I told them today how the story's going to be written. Well, so you picking Arizona again? Yes. They failed you last week. Mm-hmm. That's Arizona. That was last week. It's a whole new week. <laughs> okay. Hey, in 93, Check this out. I did a little research. Okay. They got some TV shows that debuted. <laughs> <laughs> Since the last Since time the Lions won. won in Arizona. <laughs> in Arizona. <laughs> WWF Monday Night Raw. <laughs> debuted <laughs> in 93, the year oh, the Lions man. won. Oh, man. That's um, hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Raw debut. <laughs> debut. Um, it's a lot of them in here. Some of them ain't even around. Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh-oh. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Hotel Room. I don't even know what that was. Hotel what? Room. Hotel Room. Y'all ever watched that? <laughs> no. Uh, Untouchables. Okay. Untouchables. That was a movie. Yeah. Living Single. Uh-huh. Hot, that was a hot show. That's old, man. It was a hot show, though. Let me give you something else that was a jumping off in 93. Last time the Lions, the Lions, the X Files, they debuted. And y'all like the X Files? The Ricky Lake Show Ricky Lake debuted. Lake. The Sinbad Show that lasted a hot second. <laughs> that lasted two, that year. Two episodes <laughs> that year. <laughs> 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 
You know, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, okay, we know we ain't one damn NYPD Blue. <laughs> we know, N- we know. Now, you know, that's an old show, NYPD, NYPD Blue. Blue. We know. They debuted. <laughs> we know it's been a while. It's been a while. That's sad. It's about to get changed. That's sad. This year. You, mean you know today? what the number one song in 93 was? What? When um, the Lions won in Arizona, you know what the number one song? Was I'll give you a hint. And it was was it MC Hammer? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I decided uh, though. I decided though. MC Hammer. Right actually, uh, <laughs> I'll give you a hint who the artist was. Whitney Houston. You know what the song was? Waiting to exhale. I will always love you. Oh, you know? yeah. wow. That was the number one song. You know what the number one five stuff was? <laughs> and what? Freak me by silk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just having a little fun. Tell you what jumped off in 93. This is the last time you won in Arizona. Remember, okay. Hey, remember this song? This what? song was number uh, 16. 16? 16. This is in 93. Okay. Remember this song? What Daisy Dukes. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's what we was listening to? That's what we was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean. Oh, I know yeah. you remember this one by Rex oh, and the Facts. You... <laughs> I know you remember this coming in at number nine, Rump Shaker. <laughs> Sad. Man, you look back on some of this stuff, man. You be like, are you serious? This is this what we listen to? <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, that's that was your jam. He was calling in. A few I th- remember a few things. You had that big cell phone. He was calling in, right? Battery phone. <laughs> battery 1993. Phone. What you think the number one movie was in '93? The last time Detroit Lions won in Arizona. That's what we doing here. With the Lion King, right? <laughs> he said the Lion the King. Lion King. Oh my God! <laughs> that didn't come out in '93. No. Nah. They didn't re brought it out about four times now. The number one movie was Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Aladdin. Okay, that's a few years before the before the Lion King. Just a few, maybe two. Maybe about two. But the uh, movie that actually grossed the most money was Jurassic Park. That year, Jurassic Park. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was a good movie. (laughs) They should redo that one. With the teenage technology, turtles came out that year. Had some crazy looking movies. You, you look at them now. Yeah, Groundhog Day. <laughs> that was a and movie. Half. Yeah, you Groundhog that movie? Day. Bruce, Groundhog the Bruce Day Lee story came out too. It made ten million. That's Bruce Lee. That's though. Bruce Lee though. That ain't the real Bruce Lee, y'all. Come on now, but y'all. <laughs> Y'all that like it's Bruce was Bruce in there. It don't matter. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce was there in 40 Bruce years. Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee is Bruce Lee. It don't matter. Man, come on. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened in sports in 93 since the last uh, time you guys Cow- were Cowboys won a Super Bowl, right? MJ. Yeah, they won. Oh, your Niners Buffalo. too. Cowboys won a Super 93, Bowl. 93, your Niners, right? Well, no, oh, that 94. was 94. Cowboys yeah. won a Super so, Bowl. So, still in the same time, long. Nah, it's been No, nah, we're talking about 93, not 93. <laughs> That's the last time we won. <laughs> yeah, the World Cowboy, Series, Cow- Toronto beat Philly. Okay. On the 42. Okay. NBA Championship, Chicago defeated yeah, Philly. I was going to say the Bulls. 42. Stanley mm-hmm. Cup, Montreal defeated um, the Kings 4 to 1. Wimbledon, Steffi Graf, she won. Pete Samuels, he won. Kentucky Derby, chat was C Hero. Uh, this was the killer right here, though. The NCAA Basketball Championship. Yo, Hall of Famer guy. Cost Chris y'all the game. Weber. North Carolina defeated Michigan. Why the hell would you call that timeout? Why? It's okay. Why? We now, hit now. Time this on. is something I know you gonna love. What? <laughs> the Florida State, your boy Tim Tebow team, which I don't think he was playing for them then. Florida State. He went to Florida then. Yeah, yeah Florida. Florida. Tebow went to Florida. They won the championship. They was twelve and one. That's what happened in '93 when your bombs. When that Steesbury? Last time, your team. No, Steesbury won there in '93. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't there in 93? You sure? Man, he was there a long time. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was there in 93. Because he got a title over there in Florida. 
So we're going to take another quick break here. We're going to come back. We're going to have our picks for this week. We'll um, be back after a word from our sponsor. Your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem, but the cold reality is that many people simply can't afford <coughs> health care coverage. But there is hope in the form of a medical discount program called WellCard Health. WellCard Health provides discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits with a prescription service and other programs as well. These services are available at doctor's offices and pharmacies throughout the U.S., you, including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Do you or someone you know suffer from addiction, trauma, emotional challenges, or physical illnesses? People Helping People, PHP.org. They offer support groups, creative groups, and social groups by phone for adults or teenagers. It's completely safe, confidential, and non-judgmental phone support that are run by people who have been where you are today. People Helping People, PHP.org. 516-647-7906. Get the help you need today. And... Yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Telex Free. There is an easy way to make money by posting ads on the internet. Ads are provided that need to be copied and pasted on a provided website. There's no recruiting or sales required. Earn on your investment. For more info, 973-204-9981 and the video on YouTube. That number again is 973-204-9981. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by GKWebDesigns.com. GK Web Designs is dedicated to creating and designing affordable websites for small businesses. For more info, GKWebDesigns.com or 623-341-3157. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Ali, the alternative health practitioner. Did you know that autoimmune disease is reversible? If you have diabetes, cancer, heart disease, or are taking dialysis treatments, then for more information, Ali, the Alternative Health Practitioner at 818-660-3627. This is a free consultation. Alternative medicine can restore health. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by SkullShaver.com, electric shavers for men and women. Skull Shaver is a five rotary shaver that contours to the scalp and face while reaching hard to reach areas. This is a dry shaver that requires no <coughs> lather. Skull Shaver's patented design allows you to feel your scalp as you shave. Ladies Shavers are now also available for pre-order. Their slogan is, feel as you shave. For more information, SkullShaver.com or Amazon.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM. Power Talk Live Radio, live call-in number 313-868-3688. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Now back to host Will, the free agent, and DC. <clears throat> uh, thank you very much. Welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. Sitting up here, DC, the free agent. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, check this out before uh, we give our picks. I ran across this story. Speaking of, you know, when I mentioned the, the WWE. <laughs> now, now I want to ask you: Do y'all think this parent? Or parents period is really going overboard with this. Now this is what she said about the WWE, right? What could have, I think it was a well, I think it was a female, I'm not for sure, but I think it was. The WWE has become the next creepy game. I will not allow my family to watch any of the WWE wrestling ever. They promote bullying and gang activity. They act just like them. They should be banned. A band broadcast TV period. It's, man, it's is that? I mean, is that, is that taking it overboard? Or? Yes, very, you, very you much know? so. Yeah. <laughs> what you think, boss? Is it? Uh... Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I actually completely agree with that parent. Oh, is there well, a lot of? Well, what I've noticed when I have been forced to watch that is. <laughs> What I've noticed, what I've noticed is that there are a lot of there are a lot of kids in the bully. audience. Right. So sometimes, bully. sometimes one third to one half of the audience seems to be kids. A lot of parents seem to be taking 
their children to this, and they're watching this, and they're they're learning from it. Kids absorb everything. So, but I mean, it is you can't really censor that. But I mean, I think parents just need to. I just think it's entertaining. Leave their kids at home. It's so, entertaining. So what are the, the, I don't the wrestlers see what's doing? Anything anything about it. About this what, gang what's activity. What's so harmless about what the wrestlers are doing? It could lead doing. to that. It could lead oh, to I that. Could, how? If you if a, there's a child that you know is a big fan of whatever <laughs> wrestler. And then they start copying that behavior. They're becoming a bully at school. I mean, the next step is... First of all, boys, gangs don't go out here and wrestle you. That's number one. They ain't coming out there looking to put you in no it's head, like mom. Like and no finger <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> no, they ain't about to close no, I'm sorry. I don't see no, so I don't see no comparison. I'm sorry. I don't see no gang walking around it's the street like the and they gate, draw like, the gateway, like the wrestlers. It's like the gateway drug to gangs. That's what uh, the parent is. What? I don't see it. I don't see, see you it. In, in some instances. I mean, not every in time. Some, not, what do you mean in some incidents? You don't think there's bullying? That's all they do. They just make fun of each other. Then they fight. They're it's entertaining. It's entertaining. That's what they they I mean, fighting for. Rock, that, they want to be the champ. That's a whole other story. You guys think this? They want to be the champ. I don't agree with it. That's not entertaining to me. You know what wrestling is? It's really a man soap opera. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> it's a man soap opera. Well, I'm not a fan. So of let's soap take the women soap opera and say that could lead to prostitution <laughs> and whore because everybody on the show sleep with everybody, <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello? <laughs> can we, can we, you just y'all want to compare it? Well, we'll look into that. Oh, 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 oh you got some investigation. You got to have meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can about that. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just saying, I think it's just entertainment. I think she's really blowing it out of, because my thing, if they're not watching wrestling, they can't be watching football then. Right. Football, either, either football or, or violence. Exactly. Sport. So, but you, huh? Most people watch either both or either or. But I'm talking about this person right here. She can't oh. actually be letting her people, I mean, her kids, watch football. If they're not watching, she's comparing it to bullying and gang activity. Right. I mean, but football ain't gang activity. Football yeah, is, is more violent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> football, football is more you violent. Football I mean, I'm going to move the here, but he ain't you. I, that ain't no gang, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> my, my bros against your bros. <laughs> See, that's this. more game related than football. Than wrestling. Yeah, football, they really actually trying to hurt you. Wrestling, yes. all fake hits and kicks <laughs> and stuff. Well, football, that's all they got, fake. They got equipment on. You know what I'm saying? That ain't. That ain't I'm trying like to wrestling. clothesline you for real. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trying to take your head off. <laughs> right. <laughs> my fans don't like your fans. I, 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 my like cheerleaders it. don't want to dance with your cheerleaders. What you mean? I, I think, I don't know, man. I just think she done took this. And <laughs> yeah, really just, she took, she took it a little too far. I don't <laughs> see no gang activity. I can lead to gang activity. Right. Bullying. I don't see how I can lead to bullying. Matter of fact. You get bullied on the football matter field. Matter of fact. If you you're getting lions. bullied, you should be watching wrestling and learn how to take up for yourself. <laughs> and learn how to do it close. Exactly, line. exactly. <laughs> you know, a little chop to the throat. <laughs> <laughs> a chop to the throat? Somebody <laughs> wonder, boy, you. Yeah, right, right to the you throat. Know what I'm uh, right to the chop to the throat. You know, uh, suplex a couple of them in the classroom <laughs> on the desk. they leave you alone. <laughs> Yeah, like he one crazy yeah. guy. Yeah, the one crazy kid. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you he won't be bullied no more. <laughs> yeah, he probably won't be going to that school no more either. Oh, man. Yeah, Guru took up a lot of our time. We're going to take another quick commercial break. We're going to come back. We're going to do our NFL picks, wrap up the show, and just get off into our... Baseball. Yeah, I'm going to give you the odds. Our Tigers lost last night, man. One nothing. Yeah, I'm going to give you the uh, matter of Our fact. Our bats didn't show up. We'll talk about some Tigers. I mean, I was getting down to the nitty gritty to play off. Two weeks on, two weeks away. You know, so. Less than two weeks. We can talk about that. Over. Hockey about to start. Yeah, Red Wings. I think they got a preseason game tomorrow, the Red Wings, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh oh, fall so, sports yeah. kicking off. Oh, Basketball will yeah. be next month. Not too far month. away. 
Uh oh! All these teams done built and stacked. We're gonna see Michael what's Beasley, you, you see that? He went back, back to Miami. Yeah. He he get his mind right down now. Oh, they oh, get his mind. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Down now. Right my Pat Riley right. don't play that Come team, money. Oh, okay. Pat don't play that. Okay. Pat don't play that. <laughs> uh uh. So you leave this. So you this leave ain't Phoenix Jim Schwartz down there running the team. <laughs> oh, this ain't Jimmy boy. <laughs> so, so you leave Phoenix. So you leave Phoenix to go to Miami. Yeah, like that. They bought him out. Like they bought him out. Right. They bought him out. He got a nice piece of change. Right. You know. Now well, he got a chance to go win him a ring. If he get his mind right. Oh, they got it. They're going to get his oh, mind man, right. They're going to get his like mind this. right. I put it like this. He'll ride the bench. Nah. 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 He's not going to ride. If, right. he get, ride hey, if he don't get his mind right, he'll ride the bench. They got enough. Let's Miami take a point. One, two, we'll talk about that when enough. we come back from a commercial. What do you mean they got enough? What is enough championship? Just I'm talking about. Like no, no, I'm talking about. Spoken like no, a true no, loser. So we'll they got back. No, I'm talking about they got enough talent yeah, to okay. keep winning more if Beasley can ride the bench. Let the commercial talk. <laughs> With all the talk of universal health care these days, there may soon come a time when worried about your own insurance or limited insurance isn't a problem. Man, but the whole reality is that many people simply can't on afford health care coverage. The but like there is hope yeah, in the form of a medical discount program yeah. called yeah. Well Card yeah. Health. Yeah. Well Card Health provides discounts yeah. on doctor, yeah. dental, and vision yeah. visits yeah. with the prescription yeah. services yeah. and other yeah. programs yeah. as well. Yeah. These services yeah. are available yeah. at doctor's offices yeah. and pharmacies yeah. throughout the U.S., including CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941. Cards can be issued for your entire family. There's no household limit. Cards can even be obtained for churches, community organizations, and businesses. Don't worry about the high cost of health care any longer. For more information, 800-285-5941 to learn more about how you can take advantage of WellCard Health. More information is also available at www.consumerhealthresources.com. Do you or someone you know suffer from addiction, trauma, emotional challenges, or physical illnesses? People Helping People, PHP.org. They offer support groups, creative groups, and social groups by phone for adults or teenagers. It's completely safe, confidential, and non-judgmental phone support that are run by people who have been where you are today. People Helping People, PHP.org, 516-647-7906. Get the help you need today. And yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Telex Free. There's an easy way to make money by posting ads on the internet. Ads are provided that need to be copied and pasted on a provided website. There's no recruiting or sales required. Earn on your investment. For more info, 973-204-9981 and the video on YouTube. That number again is 973-204-9981. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by GKWebDesigns.com. GK Web Designs is dedicated to creating and designing affordable websites for small businesses. For more info, gkwebdesigns.com or 623-341-3157. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Ali, the alternative health practitioner. Did you know that autoimmune disease is reversible? If you have diabetes, cancer, heart disease, or are taking dialysis treatments, then for more information, Ali, the alternative health <coughs> practitioner, at 818-660-3627. This is a free consultation. Alternative medicine can restore health. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by SkullShaver.com. Electric shavers for men and women. Skull Shaver is a five rotary shaver that contours to the scalp and face while reaching hard to reach areas. This is a dry shaver that requires no lather. Skull Shaver's patented design allows you to feel your scalp as you shave. Ladies Shavers are now also available for pre-order. Their slogan is, feel as you shave. For more information, SkullShaver.com or Amazon.com. You're listening to Detroit <coughs> Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk, live radio, live call-in number 313-868-3688, live streaming at FM 881WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will, the free agent, and D.C. All right, thank you very much. Welcome back. Welcome back. <coughs> I'll just talk a little Tiger free agent in D.C. Tigers? They lost. Tigers, they lost. One nothing. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> That's all you got to say? Yeah, we got all that talent. We didn't get no run last night. Hey, so. but you know what, though? The Tigers are... Uh, Second favorite to win the uh, World Series. I'm shocked. Who's first? The Dodgers. I can see that. 
I can't. I can't. I can't. The Tigers are listed at nineteen to four behind the, the Tigers, not behind the Dodgers at thirteen to four. Okay, okay, we decide how good team. We second to nobody this year. We winning it all. Okay, yeah. we went there last year. How we second to somebody who didn't and even make the playoffs? And we lost last year, so what? But they didn't even make the playoffs. How we? How we second behind them? I'm just saying. They but they got a good go, team. Go the rest of the, okay, I mean, they, yeah, they got a good team. The Braves yeah, coming in. They better than number, us. The Braves are number three. No, I don't agree with that. I do. Followed by the Red Sox, Rangers, Pirates, and Cardinals. The Dodgers I, I agree with last. that. I, that's a good one. You know what I'm saying? One thing I have to disagree with this because I'm telling you so right now. Y'all know, man, when the Cardinals get in the playoffs, oh, yeah, they some bad. That's they, a bad boy. Boy. They, they, they they some bad. Yeah, that's no, a I'm bad. Not I'm just that's saying. You, that's what you saying. No, come, the record speaks for itself. Come on. That's now. what you saying. No, I'm just saying the record. I'm freaking oh, on record. The record. record. Oh, okay. Uh, come on. Am I lying? They ain't beat am I lying? They am I lying? Tell me I'm lying. They ain't beat us this year. They beat us in the World Series, though. You can't. They ain't beat you. You can't. You know them boys are dangerous when they get in the playoffs. They beat us in the World Series. You're right, they did beat us. They ain't going to beat us this year. Uh Uh-huh, okay. So, obviously, they're not missing Pujols. Oh, no. Uh, Nah, nah. He's a bum down there. The whole team. Who who he play for? Uh, The The Angels. And uh, with a job. Ain't he he injured? Yeah, he he threw for the season. He's a rap. Well, they got next year. It's a rap. That's what they can say. They got next year. All, all like the true lines. Like hey, that, that's lines. what they can say. They can all that money for nothing. I forbid you to keep putting the other teams' <laughs> names in that speech and you're racing the Lions' name. Well, I forbid you. Oh, I want you to go home and write a new speech this week. <laughs> it's your homework. <laughs> that's all you do. You're right, I'm not. Because <laughs> we're going to win the Super Bowl this year with the Lions. Oh, Lions why do you like, think that? Like, what yeah, makes you believe that? I mean, I didn't pick them, you know, my my. Hey, pick, man, but to show you how football is hot, man. Speaking of Super Bowl, they already done sold like 85% of the commercial the slots. Buy one. 94 million for 30 seconds. <laughs> you can't get that one. might be a high commercial. <laughs> They're going 4 million for um, 30 seconds. They went up because uh, last year it was 3.8 million for 30 seconds. They went up? Yeah, you know nice you want to know why you want to know why they went up? Why is Because it's in New York. Yeah, that's why. Because it's in New York. Well, the New York, Man. New Jersey area. It's that's, supposed to be New York. Man, I can't afford for them. I can write them a check and tell them don't cash. <laughs> I mean, I can put something on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Oh, uh, that, on man. Hey, let's somewhere. get to these picks real fast. Let's start with you, DC. All right. Let's start with you, man. Uh, Free agent. We made ours before the show. Well, we give him the New England one. I don't think he would have picked the Jets. You'd have picked the Jets. Nah. You in the middle. Okay, I give you that one. That's it. That's it. Okay, St. Louis at um ATL. Who you got? ATL. ATL. Carolina at Buffalo. Who you got? Carolina. Carolina. Minnesota at Chicago. Chicago. Shot town. Chicago. Washington at Green Bay. Give me Green Bay. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Miami at Indy. 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 Dallas at KC. Dallas. Got Dallas, huh? San Diego at uh, Philly. Philly. All right, Cleveland at B-more. B-more. Oh, you know he got B-more. Hey, you already know I got B-more. B-more. You shouldn't even ask me that question. You know he got B-more. I got B-more. And they're raising the banner today, too? Yes. That's oh, going to be lovely. Raising the banner. Yes, sir. That's yeah, Super, help. Bowl, that's Super Bowl banner? Yes. Texas. <coughs> I mean, excuse me. Two, two, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee at Houston. <laughs> Houston. Uh, Detroit uh, and Arizona. Arizona. Hey, oh, he's taking AZ again. I don't, I don't see what y'all seeing. This. New Orleans at Tampa Bay. New Orleans. Jacksonville at Oak Town. Oak Town. Denver at the um, G Men. Ooh, brothers. Eli Bow. Manning Bow. Manning Bow. Manning uh, Bow today. Give you me watching? Denver. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> give me Denver. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the big one tonight. Sunday night. Frisco. Versus the She-Hawks. Who you got? 
It'd be 49ers. The 49ers. Well, they call us the 40 Winers. <laughs> so it's only fair we call them the Sheep Hawks. I guess. <laughs> y'all are the rivalry. Okay, Monday night, a garbage bowl game. Pitt at Cincinnati. Give me Pitt. I'm, I'm not watching that game. <laughs> I'm not watching that game. Since he gonna I win might watch start off, but I doubt it. Since he going to win that game. All Since right. he's going to win the division. Here go my picks. I took Arizona, ATL, Baltimore, Buffalo, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Kansas City, Denver, Green Bay, Houston, Indy, Oak Town, New Orleans, Philly, Frisco, of course. Free agent took Detroit and Lawrence No Wide, ATL, <laughs> Baltimore, oh <my> Carolina. He just loved to be tortured. He, <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> KC, thinking some sick fantasy of his. He got Denver, Green Bay, <laughs> Tennessee, Tennessee, Miami. He got Miami. Oak Town, New England, New Orleans, Philly, Cincy, and Seattle. There you go, them the picks. He went 10 and 6 last week. Can he do it again this week? Man. Hopefully. DC I mean, only reason he got that Lions win because they play in Minnesota. Oh, oh now nah, it's only. Yeah. Nah, but I say, only. This, I say this. If the Lions play like they played against Minnesota every week. That's not happening, brother. That's what, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what I said. You, you got to pick your poison now. That's Either stop Reggie or stop Yeah, that's what I said. If. You got to pick if, your poison. If the Lions play like they played in Minnesota last week, they could be. They can have a good season. But they, will they not going to play like they play in Minnesota they gonna every week. They going to play like that every week. No, they not. I think they not. You know what I heard on the radio the other day? If the Lions win today. They will go ten and six for the rest of the season. No, make the play. no, I said, that's what I said. Play. That's what no. I said. No, no. I see him at eleven no. and five. I no. called it. No, no. <laughs> well, you off to a one and zero. I know. I am. <laughs> yeah. So I can't argue. They got ten I mean, more to How many times have they, have they been that one and zero start of the season off? And they it don't what, matter. Five we gonna do it. 10, we gonna do it this year. Hey, you six know what? We gonna do it this year. Speaking of playing there, some of the day. You know what, your boy. The coach there, man, he love um your boy Sue. He said he wouldn't mind having. He, he don't See, agree I with know, what he I, did. I know, he said I know. he don't agree with what he did, but he said he would love to have him. Oh, a lot of people <laughs> would love to have Sue on their team. You know, so. we know. So that's a good. But we got him. <laughs> you know, he won't be here after his contract is up. He'll be here. No, he won't. Yeah, he will. No, he won't. Watch him. I bet you he leaves. Oh, where he, where he going? I bet where he you going? He Jim out there going to the Jim going to say, baby boy. You think on. everybody want to be a, a 49er? Yes. <laughs> Why? It's just a dream of theirs. Oh, okay. Ever since they was a little kid. Oh, well, he wanted to I be tell a 49 you, I tell you what. A 49er. I tell you when what. When he was a kid, the 49ers wasn't winning. Matthew and Calvin didn't grow up being no Lions fan. I guarantee you so, there wasn't no Lions fan. It don't now, they matter. can lie to you, make you feel hey, good. Right. Hey, Matt Stafford was a, wasn't he I, a, a 49ers fan? I'm not mistaken, Matt Stafford. If you, if you, even if he was, he's a, he's a lion <laughs> right now. <laughs> Free agent. How you know him, He's man? a lion. I give you credit, boy. He's you, a lion. You will stand up for them bombs to the hey, he, didn't no, <laughs> he didn't have no choice. Like, he was a first-round <laughs> draft pick. He didn't <laughs> have no choice. He had to go there. He did have a choice. No, he did. He could have played. That's just like um, LeBron. He, he didn't grow up here. being no Browns or Bengals fans. He was a Dallas Hold on, Cowboy. how you know? So he, every time you see him, he's in the Cowboys. He went to the Cowboys game. <laughs> and, 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 and he was an Yankees fan. And he was an Yankees fan. He was a Yankees fan. He, he got booed when he, matter of fact, what game he, when he showed up in uh, on the uh, 49ers gear at the, uh, what game was this? It don't matter. He can wear whatever he wants. But he's a four, but no, but he's a Cowboys fan. Okay. He said he said that when he was growing up, he's a Cowboys fan. He's still a Cowboys. So fan. I'm telling you, there ain't nobody growing up. To be I'm, a not Lions gonna, fan. I mean, I'm not going. I mean, I'm not nobody. I'm not going to put that 49ers on. Not even the hometown. Jo, what's his name? Joy Bell. He didn't grow up as no flying. How fan. you know? I guarantee you. He, he the hometown. I go. He I mean, I go over to his house over off of Dexter and Liverpool. A Barry <laughs> fan. <laughs> a Barry <laughs> fan. I let me Barry. Okay. It don't matter. You ran him out of town. Hey. He got us to the playoffs. We ran a few him out of time. And How many times no did he get to the Bowl. Super Bowl? No, zero. We had Barry, though. That's all. Zero. You had right. it. We had Barry. Give me your final word for before we get up out of here. Go Barry. That's go all I like, You know what? He Barry, no he ain't got to play, play no more. Barry, he ain't got to play no more. Barry, he don't play no more. It's still Go Barry. He used to wear the colors. Go Bear. Oh is this the God. history channel? Yeah. yeah this he, is the history he played channel. for one team. Free agents say this the well, history channel. How many teams Barry played for? One. He was stupid. How many teams, my, hey, how many teams Montana played for? He was 
Two. Which was a shame. Two. How many rings do we got? 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 How many teams did Jerry Rice play for? Three. It was, that was a, uh, I'm telling you something right there. How many teams Steve Young played for? The greatest for? people. One. Like that. Why they got to keep playing for somebody else, though? Because, obviously, if see, the 49ers choose uh, to move on, oh, oh, not hold on. Oh, oh, and I disagree. I still, they supposed to let them get right. them stay. Exactly. Okay, we can say that about Mike in Washington. There was no way he should have been in, in a wizard uniform. No, that was a disgrace. Well, he took like six It years don't matter. Off. It was so what? <laughs> he should have been able to walk out of Chicago <laughs> on his own terms. You right. He That's why they would never, ever win another championship, ever. That's oh, why D. Wade didn't go there. He said if they treated Mike like that, how they going to treat me? And he a hometown exactly. hero. Exactly. He was born in Chicago. And grew up a Bulls fan. He ain't talking about you that. Should, you should agree with that. I do. But your, your organization, <laughs> they get rid of the older players. We move on to try to win championships. So why Chicago can't do that? Exactly. Oh, you now you want to be a hypocrite now? Not Mike. No, no, no. I, I disagree saying? with it. Oh. I disagree. I think y'all moved on from Joe, Montana. Joe, Jerry. Uh, Chicago said we got to move on from Mike. I did not agree with it. I did not agree with it. It was a disgrace that he was in a Kansas City uniform. But it was a yeah, disgrace. Jerry Rice was in an then, Oakland uniform. Then they ended his career in Kansas City. Exactly. That's oh, it was just a disgrace. I got smacked, Joe, for that. <laughs> well, your what organization. Oh, but Jerry Rice had a, a good season in Oakland, though. We didn't. I didn't say he didn't. I'm just saying. Let's wrap it up. Let's get up out of here. Retire DC, in what's the final words? Go Baltimore. <laughs> DC, you live over there? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I had to think so. Go Baltimore. That's all I'm saying. Go Lions, Baltimore. Lions, Tigers. Check us out. We got some world football. Series. You Super know, Bowl. got some good games today. We'll see how we did on our picks next week. I'm your host, Will. DC, free yeah. agent. We got the voice. We got Hen Dog on the wheel. The steals. We up out of here. Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time. Sundays at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 no, WHPR. Oh Powered by Live Radio. With those who are the water cooler crew and the free agent. Live call in number 3386. I have bragging rights over y'all. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. You know what I'm saying? That would even be better than winning the Super Bowl. You know what's for y'all, Ryan? That would be better than winning the Super Bowl. Having bragging rights over the 40s.